Hello there and welcome to another SOS reading. I hope you're doing good out there. And this is a general reading. However, it is someone's oracle messages. So either it's going to resonate for the most part or it won't. But hopefully it does and hopefully it makes your day. So let's go ahead and find out all that we can when it comes to your current situation. Oh, nice. Right off the bat, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. New beginnings, the end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. You know, with this uh, change in direction that offers happiness, um, you know, it, there's, you know, twists and turns with this. So um, expect the unexpected, uh, but know that your situation has a positive and favorable outcome. Um, so new fortune as well, I'm hearing. Maybe something with um, a house or a sense of homecoming, okay? All right, let's see what else you need to know. Five of Michael, yeah, you're you're turning something around or you're being shown a different a different way. Okay, so um, try for some, not all of you, because it is a general reading, but if you find that you're trying to force um, a certain way or a certain outcome, just take a step back, okay? Um, you are being protected by Archangel Michael, and Archangel Michael right now, I feel is helping you uh, stay strong, um, stay strong mentally and mentally focused here. Um, and also showing you a better way or a new direction. There may have been a sense of severing ties with, uh, you know, an old agreement, old situations, people, whatever. You could be, you know, cutting cords, karmic cords. Ooh, that's why there is this whole change and the end of delays. Okay. So there is a situation here that you may have already picked up on or that is not serving you right now. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach or be open to another opportunity. Um, something is coming into view. So I feel Archangel Michael is really help, um, helping you clear out anything that is that could be cluttering your path. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through with the Five of Swords here. Oh my gosh, more air sign. Okay, your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. You know, I was talking about something with mental focus here. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. You know, you don't have to hang on to anything here. Some, some not all, you could be hung up about... You know, something that happened in the past. Maybe we are haunted by past actions or decisions. We could also be too worried about the future. So I feel this is a time for you to just surrender because you're not going to be able to figure everything out anyway. You know, this is twist and turns here. Let's get a little bit more with the uh, Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel that you might be having a hard time with some sleep or getting um, a good night's sleep. Okay, just there's this extra stress here. Look at this. You're seeing signs and omens about a change, okay? Uh, a change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless and, need, and in need of change. That is exactly what is coming your way. You could absolutely be picking up on this energy because someone is like feeling unsettled here or restless, right? We're up in our bed or up at night. Um, we could even be feeling this change coming on. So, um, you know, that's all you need to know that whether it's positive or negative, it doesn't matter. It will bring some type of, you know, stress because we do have to give into some type of unknown or uncertainty. But if you're feeling restless, that's exactly why, because you know that change is happening. Change is coming. It's inevitable. What else? Yeah, things are going to get a lot more simpler for you too. So don't get discouraged by things that might be removed out of your life or that you might be uh, removing, you know, by your own choice. 
simpler is better. Oh, look at that, because something is coming to life. There's something that has already been born or there's this opportunity nearing here. And you do want to give all of your attention to it. And I, I do feel some type of sense of a uh, fire sign coming through with this. Okay, so yes, you are coming to life. New, new life is coming to life. Something is coming to life, so allow it. What else? The magician. Oh my goodness, look at that. You have everything you need to be a success and you can manifest the life you want and we literally have coming to life. Oh my goodness. You have so much power, more than maybe you realize. What you need will a magic, okay, excuse me, what you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Look at that, new beginnings, the end of delays. When things start rolling and, and moving, go with it. Something and someone may manifest right before your eyes. It's a gift. It's a gift from your guardian angels, from the heavens. Oh, you got something good going on here, but we are having a little bit of a challenge, but you're fine, okay? Let's see, what else? Eight of Ariel, take great pride in your excellent work or something that maybe you're doing to improve yourself, your career, your, you know, whatever. It could be personal or business or career-wise. Consider getting additional education or training. Practice makes perfect. So the Eight of Ariel is speaking about some type of mastery taking place, headed to, uh, heading towards some type of achievement and more fortune, okay? Because... We are moving with material things here, more resources. I do see something that Spirit is saying, pay attention, right? Or pay attention to your work. Or, you know, do what you can to, um, you know, take the time to, uh, you know, look at the quality or, you know, making sure that you are producing quality work or taking your time with details. Let's get a little bit more with the Eight of Ariels. There may be something with a commitment here too that you're coming into. Let's get a little bit more with the Eight of Ariel. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like your angel is pointing something out right here. Major life change. The time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. So there's this time and this space given, given to it now, but there is this time and space that you get to you know, indulge in things that you want to indulge that only improve your own well-being, your quality of life. And yes, if you're, fo if you're, you know, in the, the field of career or making, you know, money here, attaining more. Okay, let's see. And I do see some type of major life change here where we do want to commit to something or possibly someone. Okay. I was noticing the butterfly here there, you know, you may be noticing butterflies. You could be attracting a lot of um, really beautiful nature spirits towards you, uh, excuse me, towards you as well. But look at that. We got this butterfly metamorphosis. We have a positive change. Yeah, because the only thing you can do is transform from a place of hitting rock bottom, right? And the only place you can go is up. So, yeah, there's like a, it's a, like, it's either go up or go down, right? You've already been down. So the only way to go is up. This is this whole thing, you know, about the, the tables have turned. I am sensing like possibly 10 of wands or 10 of swords here. Either way, it's like, you know, a period of struggle, right? <clears throat> and that part is coming to an end or some of you you've already bounced back and you just need to keep going with the changes here you're discovering something important right and you're also discovering something about what's not necessary for you either what else 
there is something about home you know being at home with you know with yourself no matter what's going on and we may have something favorable about a home or a homecoming didn't i say something about a homecoming uh, or you could be spending quality time at home and making your home beautiful you could be changing things up remodeling moving things around whatever it is but the most important thing is you know feeling good sheltered and protected here hmm let's get a little bit more too with this home i i sense like four of wands with this trouble-free existence a trouble-free home yeah a time to just experience relaxation putting being at ease not have not having excuse me not having to do too much at one time feeling comforted especially after a period where we've had to be in charge and now we get to rest and be right at home planning now is a time to lay down the foundations for your future financial gains are more than likely we got the wheel of fortune you got the eight of pentacles you have the magician coming to life yeah i feel some of you there there is this thing of having a period to contemplate to reflect to you know stay optimistic and and to stay in charge and of course be in charge of your future and your plans here but taking it easy not overlooking maybe pos uh, possible things here or possibilities, but trust that there is uh, resources coming your way, more money coming your way, people coming your way. I get two of wands with this as well. So there could be a new friendship, partnership, companionship on the horizon. Some of you might be connecting to someone right now. This is nine of swords, goblins. Trust yourself right now. I feel that there is something about, you know, maybe things are being revealed um, about others that may not be so, you know, good. Maybe it is their little monsters or skeletons coming out of the closet, closet. or, you know, the goblins can also, with this moon uh, light card, you know, there's more going on here because we could be allowing, you know, stress, worry, imagination to run wild. Okay, so take care of yourself. Trust in your own dreams and visions right now. You know, the moonlight is only showing you so much, but something, there, there's something glistening. There's like a, okay, there, it's almost like a very thin veil, or I'm seeing something about a spider web as well. You know, and a spider web is like a very skinny veil like thing here, and you're capturing something. And I do feel that your angels um, and maybe even something about friends or pets <clears throat> trying to help and release any extra stresses or worries, okay? But you are leaving the goblins behind. You're in this period of metamorphosis, you know, and just because you can't see everything right now, it doesn't mean that it's not going to turn out beautiful and fortunate because it is. What else? <clears throat> see you've got a commitment this is this eight of pentacles stay committed and loyal to the things that make you feel like you're thriving and trust that there is some type of commitment that's going to make you feel good whether it's business love whatever you need it's on its way whoops okay i feel like this one wants to talk to us i was just getting this thing about you might have had or you will be nearing some type of close encounter. So you may have already met something um, or someone. But I do see something strong about love. And you could be also finding yourself re recommitting to your plans and your visions, even if it didn't go the way that we wanted it to in the past. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. An opportunity, uh, oh, excuse me, opportunities, an important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. <laughs> Something and someone is coming here. And also you do need to take care of yourself. 
I just have to point this out because we were talking about this with the goblins in the moonlight, you know, maybe others revealing something about themselves. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. Now, this could also be oneself because, you know, the... <laughs> We can imagine all kinds of things when it's, you know, dark and scary and we don't have all, all the light to show us everything, but, you know, don't let your imagination run wild if it makes you feel bad. That's not, um, you know, that's not, you know, taking care of yourself because it is about releasing stress, worry, giving into more of excitement here and adventure. Okay. So just guard yourself, you know, maybe take your time, right? with something. What else? Wizard of Awareness. You do need to take your time and you're not having to push or pull anything. Actually, spirit and your angels is telling you just stay in tuned, stay aware. What you need will arrive. You really are embodying magician energy. So you really are in this place of attraction factor. And I do sense three of wands. So there is something here um, that is coming soon that you need to see, whether it's a person resource, it's gonna help you make and make you feel like you're growing, right? Growth. So stay aware because you do have a successful beginning right now. What else? signs hmm your future's uh, positive see positive direction will reveal itself any doubts and confusions will soon disappear and look you even have your back towards the the goblins here those are your that's the doubt fears worries what else Friendship. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So there may be something here with reaching out to another or, you know, um, someone, uh, well, vice versa. You could be reaching out to someone or someone reaching out to you, right? We could be in the place of receiving some counsel or giving some counsel. Because I was picking up two of wands, okay? So we are in this place of attracting what and who we need. And, you know, we are staying focused on things that matter here. So, you know, you could just be staying uh, committed and loyal to some type of service, whether it's like, you know, a neighbor, friend, maybe it's on a bigger level. Maybe there's something that you are already doing and providing that's that you feel is of a service for others. And maybe that's all you need to do right now. But I do feel you might be picking up on something here with a friend. Okay. What else? Yeah. It's like your, your angel is pointing and, and showing you where to, um, give your undivided attention to, because that's going to be the most fruitful nature, interact with nature in the outdoors around animals. Look at the lion. And we are outdoors. I feel in, in all of these, actually all of them, they're all outdoors except for the eight of pentacles. Anyhow, uh, interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for your soul and healing for you because you get to take the time to do that anyways. Okay. Things are turning. <laughs> it's unavoidable and signs are showing you what else you may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. And that's kind of this energy I was getting with the three of wands. Um, you know, we're just adding to, or, you know, you adding to another's um, life. And there's a lot of value with this. So we've got a lot to experience. Okay. There's more for you to experience. Um, it's like, oh, I'm seeing an Oracle card in my mind's eye right now. I don't know which deck it's from, but it's like, oh yeah. It's like, you know, you're not yet, you're not yet done. You're not yet finished. The best is yet to come. Hold on, hold on. Okay. What else? Declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Get rid of it. This is your time. This is your chance. Someone 
may have or will hurt your feelings and reveal, reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. I see you're doing exactly that <laughs> with the goblins here. Okay. Now take that if it resonates. It won't for all of you. Uh, but for some, you know, this is your time to um, allow uh, situations and people to reveal th that side of themselves because this is where, you know, we just going to cut those cords anyways. You know, we don't need to be in situations um, or in friendships or connections that don't want to reciprocate some type of honesty or something with integrity here. And also, you know, there's this thing too where you are also improving yourself and changing, right? So when you're changing, not everyone is changing all at the same time, right? And so it's like people are in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And it's all part of it. It's all, you know, one's not um, less important than the other. It's just all part of your whole experience anyways. What else? Positive work outcomes. Yeah, there's something about tried and true. So there may be something with not having to worry so much about trying to reinvent the wheel or have to do something totally different and spontaneous and new. Okay, so take that if it uh, resonates because there's just something about doing something that's tried and true um, and just incorporating other things as you improve and go on. Uh, but if you've been working, which the aid of uh, Ariel is a card of occupation, work, Consistent efforts will bring great rewards. I just put that word great. That's what I thought it said. Anyhow, and a major purchase is worth making. Oh, we could have a home, something or a car or, or some type of large investment. What else? Okay, this is the second time coming. See? Oh. Here you go. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. I literally said this too. It's here it is though. Yes, it's going to make you feel better. It's like the best is yet to come. Remember? Okay. Oh my gosh. Love life. Okay. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. So don't worry when it comes to fulfillment, something in regards of your love life, or maybe there's something with some type of intimate relationship, could be some friendship or whatever. But anyhow, or, you know, for some of you, this could be your business, your career, because that could be a passion and a love. But anyhow, you're going to make a good decision this week because there's something about... Um, Things coming to light here, right? Seeing a, uh, seeing your uh, future positive direction revealing itself. Any doubts or confusions will soon disappear. What else? And something will appear. <laughs> or reappear. Who knows? <laughs> what else? You have good movement here. So this movement card is indicating a reliable path and a positive force of momentum. Okay. So it's like, go with the winds of change. You may even be feeling like you could take some quantum leaps here and you are being provided and assisted. So, you know, pay attention to maybe ideas, uh, people, books, messages that just kind of, you know, land on your path. You're like accumulating a wisdom and you're taking what you want with you as you are accumulating some type of good fortune on your path. Don't be afraid to uh, make some type of movement here. It doesn't have to be anything huge or big, right? But just know and stay focused that you're making positive movement forward. And it's all this perfect time because I'm just noticing that water that's coming out, you know, and it's like if it was spinning really fast, I mean, it would be terrible because all the water would be splashing all over the place. So it's really doing it at the perfect timing, effortlessly and comfortably. What else? 
strength. The only thing that you have to be strong in, oh, look at the, uh, the lion here. I'm just thinking of tarot because of the strength card here. So yeah, maybe Leo is showing up too. Um, you know, no matter what's going on, know that you're more than capable of being strong, standing uh, balanced, right? So I feel that whatever you have been doing or what you're being guided to do to take good, really good care of yourself is only going to help you with strength and stamina internally and externally, physically, mentally, emotionally here. You're moving and you're taking something with you as well, something that is worth taking. I even sense uh, um, world card here as well. So remain poised even in, you know, times of change. Remain flexible as well. Because we're talking about the twists and turns here. What else? Okay, there is focus on education. I mean, we do have someone who is studying here. So study to gain more, you know, or be open to a new opportunity you might be diving into, you know, whether it's formal education or something personal here, take your time, right? Enjoy something new coming your way because it's like, I don't know, play while you wait or entertain yourself because there is some type of special delivery on its way to you. So here's a new beginning to dive into something as well. What else? Bone collector. This is about really clearing the past, taking in or collecting the things that may, we may have felt was lost or unavailable. We have an ancient one here too. So I do uh, get this thing about, you know, you hearing the ancient ones. But this is a time of, you know, the, sh the shedding of an old and creating a very sacred space. You know what's interesting? I'm actually getting star card with this bone collector. Because all we, all we can do right now is collect. And that's what I was seeing with the uh, movement card. We're collecting things and we're moving. This is why you're decluttering. Because it's time for you to collect. What else? Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, did I forget this one? Okay, maybe I did. Oh, but I like it. This is really going along the lines of the Wheel of Fortune because there's some type of, um, there's going to be an upswing of success of, you know, really feeling in the flow and spirit wants you to not doubt this, to, you know, to really enjoy it because it's almost like finally we could ride the wave. You know, you've done all this work and now we get to like feel like some type of free flow. And this is what you have to look forward to. What else? 10 of Michael, wow. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. This is this 10 of swords. This is 10 of swords. And this was like the 10 of swords or even like the 10 of wands that I'm getting. But look at you. Look, taking a bow gracefully. You're putting that past behind you. And you're not having to go through some type of hardship or struggle again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else? Yeah, because some, not all of you, because some of you, you could have put an end to something or you didn't see something coming to an end. So it really took you uh, for a loop here. You could be manifesting travel plans or have the opportunity to travel or vacation. Long distance communication will open up your life exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Nice. Oh, that doesn't fit in there. What else? Seven of Raphael. Time to make a decision. Just be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification. So could just be that we need to take action towards um, a more healthy lifestyle or 
um, you know, maybe just watching out um, for some type of habit or pattern possibly where we could be trying to feel, fill a void, okay? Um, by, you know, distracting oneself with m maybe too much of whatever, right? Could cause a lot of confusion, could be overindulgence or material things or, you know, whatever it is. But, you know, this, this is time that you do and you are getting the clarity that you need. And when you do make that decision, you know, you need to expect things to um, start moving and grooving. It's that magician energy wherever he went right here, okay? And that's your point of power here. Now, if you feel you need to detox from situations or people or, you know, maybe over doing something or, you know, a particular uh, food or drink or whatever, do that. Knight of Michael, time to move quickly. This is this is this wheel of fortune. So you're going to be having some fast moving events. OK, and spirit wants you to stay strong. Spirit wants you to stay committed on your path here to stay focused because it's all I mean, there is a sense of real great integrity with this as well. Uh, choose logic over emotion because there will be sudden changes. Oh. What else? Nine of Ariel, your dreams are being fulfilled or are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success, a love for beautiful things in life. And this is what you're attaining. So, you know, don't worry about maybe things that you have to let go of or, you know, get rid of. Um, this is a time for you to feel empowered, to surround yourself with beautiful things that you love, you know, and here we are out in nature. Some of you, you're going to... I mean, if you're not doing it yet, you're definitely going to be doing it in the future. You could be finally doing things and pleasures that you've always wanted to do. You just didn't, maybe you, maybe you didn't have the time, the resources, the money to do it, but you will if you're not doing these things now. Don't be afraid to enjoy some things when it comes to some solo pleasures as well, because a nine of uh, Ariel is the nine of pentacles, Okay. And yeah, we have a very abundant, fulfilling life or lifestyle. What else? Yeah, you need to be on your guard against chaos or unforeseen perils. This is this whole thing about the, uh, the changes or emotional upheaval are foretold. But you're being told here, uh, you know, when the time comes, because it's like will of fortune or possibly even the tower here where it says, you know, choose, uh, choose logic over emotion. Okay. When it comes to sudden changes, let's get a little bit more too with the, uh, difficult times. And there, it could be difficult too because some people or old situations or old people may not like, you know, where you're going, especially if, if they feel that they could be uh, losing you or an old version of you because I'm just seeing you, you know, doing what you feel is right for you, um, growing, becoming more abundant, successful, and also demanding some type of truth in life here, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like five of cups here. Okay. So don't get sad here, right? There's something about staying strong, uh, being strong. This is like five of cups here. Now, some, you may need to take a little time to just embrace what is, but also embrace what will be because your future is bright. You have been through it. This was your difficult times the blues, right? And then we got the 10 of swords here, the end. And 10 of swords speaks about, you know, painful ending or just a very challenging ending. Okay, what else? Challenges. You just need to take some time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. So I feel that there may be something here where um, you know, you may need to take a step back and, and just ask yourself, 
you know, does this require a response or a reaction? Does it really require a response or reaction? Because there's something about putting things on hold for now, right? We're putting maybe our emotions on deep freeze e even, especially if we've been feeling a lot of inner, inner turmoil, okay? So if you need to take some time out, do so, but stay positive, okay? The worst is behind you. What else? See, a situation has ended and you're finally free because a stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action plus a special family reunion looks likely. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. Oh. What else? Communication. There is something strong about a reunion here. So a reunion can bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. I'm getting like eight of wands and six of cups with this. So there's something about important connections, important commitments, important communication. Okay. That's going to really change things around for you. So, you know, don't stress. There's this period that you're nearing here where you're going to be able to just keep writing. You're just going to feel so in the flow. And it's like you get to ride in to shore here. Because speaking of, it's like the ocean is representing your emotions here, right? And, and maybe you don't realize it, but those, those upheavals have created the best waves for you. <laughs> and now that you have or are coming into settling things down, you get to watch for that big, nice wave and ride that one that takes you in. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future for the viewer. Oh, I do want to bring this up too. <clears throat> there is something here with watching out for something to keep perpetuating, right? So we do need to take cautious and be aware of, you know, too much. Um, now just take it if it resonates. Okay. Cause not all of you are in this. Some of you, you're, you're healing it. You're purifying it. You've embraced it. You're accepting it and you're in, you're in this new stage, but there could be something about not believing, giving into stress, giving into worry, allowing things to grow, um, into little monsters, right? That can cause more difficulties here when it doesn't have to be. Don't make it harder than it is, okay? Believe that you are being taken care of. God, the universe will handle anything that has felt like an injustice as well. You got to trust that. What does the viewer have to look forward to in the near future? Nine of Gabriel, to stay determined and move forward, being prepared for any possibility. So what you have to look forward to, this is this thing about the strength card. You're more than prepared. You've got stamina, you've got strength, you've got emotional, material, spiritual strength, and you can endure anything. Some of you, you might, you know, find that piece of property or find that area where you can really grow environmental activism for some of you let's get a little bit more with that uh, let's see what's actually let's see what's behind that nine of wands <laughs> yes look at that perseverance will pay off love and blessings fill your life ten of cups blessings fortune love happiness harmonious relationships with family members and friends happily ever after <laughs> move forward it's going to be worth it this is what you have to look forward to in the near future this is this commitment let's find out how spirit is currently helping you how is spirit currently helping the viewer 
Oh, surprise! And then you see how it landed? It was just like that. Surprise! This is the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm, that sad embrace is going to turn into a happy embrace. Surprise! A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love for those searching. Either way, it's going to bring you a good blessing. I hope that was helpful. Love and light.